How was your camping trip? It rained here. Did it rain where you were? Just a light sprinkle. Aw, oh, admit it. We had fun. What's a little rain when you have a waterproof tent? <laughs> uh, let's go inside and get warm. Hey, at least you can't rust! Whew, just hearing about their vacation makes me chilled. That's what they get for taking their vacation on Earth. Should have gone to Cybertron. They could have been speeding in the Sonic Canyons. Hiking the Manganese Mountains. Hanging out in the acid wastes. Why would you want to hang out in the acid wastes? Is that a trick question? The sunsets are amazing. It does no good to dream of home when we are here. You must live in the moment wherever you are. Besides, Earth is awesome. <laughs> oh, wow. oh, my. Seriously, it's beautiful. Uh, there's so many things to do and places to see. Earth has mountains, it has canyons. Acid wastes? Not that I know of. There you go, then. You know what? There's no Decepticon activity right now. I'm gonna prove to you that Earth has as much, if not more, to offer as Cybertron. How? Coordinates? Cybertron! <laughs> <laughs> Surprise us. Your wish is my command sequence. B-Team? This will be an adventure. Having fun yet? Ha! Come on! Earth is unpredictable! That's part of its charm! I would not describe molten lava as charming. Fix it! You're not supposed to be contacting me! <laughs> You're on vacation! Why did you send us into an active volcano? It's active? Huh! I'll make a note of that. I just thought you'd like someplace warm. Warm and non fatal, please. Alternate destination programmed. Okay! Who wants to give it another try? <laughs> huh? The western region of Denny and Russell's home continent. One of my favorite places on Earth. I mean, nice, huh? If you like holes in the ground. Oh, there's a lot more to this place than holes in the ground. Fix it. Give us some fun facts about this amazing place you've sent us to. Let's see. Uh, you're not far from the ghost town of Edmondville. A ghost town? Cool. Your location has the highest temperature in the area. The average rainfall is slightly less than zero. Oh, the variety of desert lizards where you are is spectacle. Is spectacle. <laughs> Spectacular! The region is home to 200 different species, including the leopard lizard, the horned lizard, the spiny <laughs> lizard, the gecko, the iguana, the skink. Ah, thanks, Fix It. Okay, who wants to see a ghost town? Ah. Wow, it 
really is a ghost town. I do not understand. The town is populated by ghosts? Sort of. I mean, back in the days of the Old West, many dramatic things happened here. Brawls, stampedes, the gold rush, showdowns between outlaws and law enforcers right here on this street. And some humans believe that places like this still contain otherworldly traces of those who lived through such times. Ah, as we are taught, the spirit of the warrior lives on long after he is gone. Uh, but what is a ghost? Ooh, I know this from the scary movies I've watched with Russell. <clears throat> a ghost is invisible and mean and likes to frighten humans. <laughs> humans may show fear, but not warriors. That was not fear, Master. It was a small tactical retreat uh, to achieve battle readiness. Boo. <gasps> Ghosts tend to be mean in scary movies, but in other legends, that isn't the case. Let's do some exploring, huh? See a real slice of Earth's history. Uh, request permission to remain here and count the moments until departure, sir. Yeah, I'm good, too. <laughs> <sighs> Fine. But you don't know what you're missing. <sighs> the acid wastes are sounding pretty good to me right about now. has to be something interesting in this deserted town. Huh? I could have sworn. Hey, B! I don't think we're alone here. How'd you know? Here we are, folks, Edmondville, one of the last true ghost towns of the formerly wild, wild west. Back in its heyday, this dusty old street was filled with cowpokes, gamblers, miners, and outlaws. <laughs> B could do that human's job, no problem. Yet today, Edmondville is completely empty. Or is it? Many legends surround this old town. Take the old mine, for instance. Folks say you can still hear the clink of pickaxes and the laughter of old miners long gone. That old train hasn't run in more than 100 years, yet sometimes at midnight, its whistle can be heard for miles around. Uh, then there's the tale of... Oh! job, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, hiding and scaring those tourists. That was fun. Ooh. 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 They're gone, oh spooky one. <laughs> <laughs> you were an excellent ghost master. <laughs> Your noises were most terrifying. <laughs> When I came to tell you the humans were coming, you said we weren't alone. But you weren't talking about those humans, were you? 
When I was walking around town, I sensed someone or something watching me. And whatever it was, it didn't feel friendly. Uh, then perhaps we should depart. <sighs> Briefly, uh, to consider our options. Yes, go. We can't. Human tourists apparently visit this town frequently. If there's danger here... Leaving before eliminating that threat would be dishonorable. Split up and search the whole town. Every building, street, and alley. Location cannot be too quiet. It is either quiet or it is not. Shh. Nothing. Let's go back. Uh, ghosts! Stay close. Not that close. See why tourists come here. <coughs> the service is fantastic. If you're ever trapped in a locked vault again, just remember, you can always make your own back door. Something is here. Yeah, ghosts! I'm not so sure. Fix it. Are there any Decepticons who can make themselves invisible? This is a ghost town and a Decepticon town? I'm sorry about all this, Lieutenant. I'm ending my career as a travel agent. I found one Decepticon matching your criteria, sir. <laughs> He can do more than make himself disappear. His name is Pseudo. He was Cybertron's sneakiest shy. Fly, the spy. Arrested for selling Cybertronian secrets to off-world enemies. So he does have the power of invisibility? No, he's a shifter. Pseudo can change his appearance and even his actual physical structure to blend in with any environment. Thanks, Fix-It. So you think this has all been Pseudo, scaring us the same way we did the human tourists? Yep, I knew it all along. <laughs> I think I know how to find this con. Reset your optics to detect his heat signature. I'm not going down that easily. found anything then wait a minute two drifts
One drift, one pseudo. And one way to tell them apart is drift, transform! Okay. And another way to tell them apart is, um... To see if he can do this. We may never find him again. Optics on pseudo. Nope. Nothing. Not here. No. B team, transform to bot mode for more maneuverability and quicker reaction time. <laughs> Strong arm. Did our tunnels intersect or? For B? Ow! It wasn't me, it was Pseudo! Oh. Well, that makes more sense. Hey, guys. What are you looking at? That's not me. I'm handsomer. No! That's not me! How can we be sure? We could ask them something only Grimlock would know. Uh oh. What is Grimlock's favorite thing about Cybertron's acid wastes? Uh, who would want to hang out in the acid wastes? Aha! I thought it was a trick question. You're out of moves, Decepticon. You sure? I look good when I do that, don't I? That engine on the move! It's Pseudo! You? Can you get him there? Does a cat have whiskers that shoot lightning? Uh, if I may ask, how do you plan to get us there? Going. Going.
Did we emerge victorious? <sighs> I didn't change any of your minds about Earth, did I? There are things to like about it. Lots of cool terrain for free running. New rules to learn? Rules are always fun. Ooh, and I love Earth movies. Except the ones with ghosts. Or cats. Or ghost cats. Earth is where we have tested our metal and made good friends. And more than able colleagues. Okay, team. Time to head for... Whoa. Now that is better than the acid wastes. Hey, are you guys coming back or not? I want to hear about your trip. Hey, did you bring me any souvenir lizard samples? Hello? Hello?